Hey guys, wanted to show a quick video before we head out for back to school shopping. Um, so I'm starting here with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This stuff is really great. It does help blur out some minor imperfections. I have a lot of freckling and, and it seems to help with that. Um, and my favorite foundation at this moment is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm in the color sand. And of course I'm using, that's the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So I'm just gonna apply this foundation everywhere. Um, I actually did make a mistake and you'll be seeing that here shortly. Uh, I used, I, I'm trying to use concealer un, uh, first on my under eye area, my eyelids. I forgot to do it this time so. <laughs> You'll find me uh, wiping it off of those areas, but I find that it helps a lot better. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it helps a lot more. It covers better for me. It's easier, it seems like, and it doesn't look so cakey or, um, I don't know. I just, I have much better results when I put concealer on under my foundation, which is very odd, but it works. So that's what the sister's doing. Um, yep, so I am uh, wiping that off with a cl uh, cleaning wipe, and this is the Coconut Mini Melt from Kapari. This is awesome. I use coconut oil. Um, I have severely dry skin, um, and I just love it. I don't, you don't need much, just a touch. Um, I put it on under for where my, around my eyes, and then I can put the concealer on over that doesn't move around on me because um, my skin is so dry it just kind of sucks it in <laughs> so I love it and it's it's a great solution if you have dry skin um, so and then this concealer is pretty new to me Ooh, ooh wow that came out pretty heavy there <laughs> um, this is the flower beauty um, uh, DB Daily Brightening Under Eye Cover Cream, and this is the color DB3. Um, that that was quite a bit. You'll see I'm <laughs> I'm taking quite a bit of it off. Uh, it came out pretty heavy. I think I had it stored upside down, but um, I really like this. It seems to work well. It 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 smooths out nicely, gives my skin a nice nice uh, color, a lightening, and it's not drying. Um, I'm really, I'm really liking it quite a bit. So, and like I said, I'm trying to put my concealer on first on my eyes. Eye area seems to help me. Um, concealer over the foundation, just, I don't know what the deal is, but my face doesn't seem to look as nice as it does this way. So then I'm just using my beauty blender again to um, kind of buff out the edges of the concealer I got there. Um, and just patting through the finger. I, I find using your finger with concealer helps kind of warm it up onto the skin. It helps it soak in a bit more. Um, I do notice with the Beauty Blender, if you use it a little much, it, it takes too much product off. So I'm really careful with the Beauty Blender when I'm doing this. I pretty much just use it to clear the edges so it's not a, a drastic change in coloring. And you'll notice I'm, I'm just putting a little bit of that concealer that's left out on the other parts of my face there, lighten them up, give them a little highlight. And now for the brows. Um, I have very uh, thin brows, not a lot of hair. Um, I'm trying to grow them out, but it's they're not growing very well. I am using castor oil, which is good for that. So we'll see how it goes. I'm using the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the color Ash Brown. And it's got the pencil on one end and the spoolie on the other. So I usually use the spoolie first and kind of brush the brows up and then use the, the pencil in to um, make them uh, look fuller and add in what I need to add. Looking good. <laughs> uh, oh. So here we go with the eyeshadow. This is the ColourPop um, palette called Blow Me Away. There's four colors in there. I love this palette. Um, it is like a peachy pink color and it's just, it's great. It's beautiful. It's got um, your basic transition shade. It's got a little darker pink and then a 
darker pink, pinky, pinky peach color. Um, and then it's got a shimmer shade. So it's the perfect palette to throw in your travel bag if you want to. Um, you shouldn't need any other eye, uh, eyeshadow to complete a look. They have, ColourPop has other ones like this too, different colors in them. They have a few. I wish they had a lot more, but that's okay. Um, this is, um, I put my transition shade in and <clears throat> put some color on the, um, in the crease and I'll put some uh, shimmer on the eyelid. Um, looks pretty nice. I, I really like that shimmer shade. You'll see in a bit, I'll be applying it with my finger. I found that shimmer shades tend to show up better when you use your finger to apply them. Um, I don't know. I think it's like the warmth of your skin. Again, just when you get it on the brush, it's got more transfer time to, to fall off the brush and then you have to get it onto your eye. So I think it's a little easier to transfer with your finger. Um, I'm showing you a brush, but I'm going to have all those brushes linked down below or listed down below so that you, um, you will know which ones I'm using. So, and I'm just kind of darkening up the outer crease, outer V of the eye with that darkest color. And I got the, I got that left eye, um, a lot darker. I had more pigment on there. I had more powder on there than the other eye. So. Um, if you notice, I, I go back and I use, um, another brush to, or actually the, that brush with the first shade, the real lighter shade to kind of even that out, make it look a little nicer and, and blend evenly match the other side. So, um, that's what I'm doing here is fixing that, <laughs> fixing that color difference. I didn't want it quite that bright on the one side getting ready to go back to school shopping for the kids. They go back to school on Wednesday. Yay. I am ready for school to come back in session. So we had to finish up some shopping and, and so this is what I'm getting ready for. Just putting on a quick, nice little, uh, makeup look here. And yep. Like I said, this is where I use the shimmer shade with my finger. Um, tends to show up a lot better when you use your finger with the shimmer shades. And then um, I'm going to also be using a brush with the shimmer shade to highlight my eyebrow. Just right up, right underneath the brow. Um, put a nice light shimmer shade there. Makes, makes the eye look um, nice and set and very pretty and bright, shiny. Looks very pretty when the sun hits your, your face. So, um, oh, that didn't turn out very well. I'm using the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup in the color Medium Tan. And I'm just using that to kind of brighten up clear, uh, around my eye, um, take off any fallout that I had from the eyeshadow. This, um, this isn't really a setting powder. It's a foundation powder, but um, it looks pretty good on me. I like it. So I just, I just got this. I'm still kind of testing it out. So I'm just using it to kind of brush away um, fallout from eyeshadow and, and um, making sure everything looks nice under my eyes. So, and I, I like that. So it looks pretty good. Now this is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara in the color black. I love this mascara, but I am cruelty free now. Um, anything that I purchase now going forward, I, I will not purchase anything that's not cruelty free. I've had the this Roller Lash Mascara for a while and I love it. It's probably my Holy Grail mascara favorite of all time, but the Benefit is not cruelty free. so. I will not be buying this again until Benefit decides they want to um, join the, the rest of the makeup companies that are getting smart about what their products, what's happening with their products. Um, all right, so 
get ready for some bronzer here. If you haven't tried the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzers, oh my lord, you are missing out. These things are great. I love them. Not only do they look nice on the skin, they're a great color, but they smell amazing. They have a coconut island smell that just oh takes you back to Mexico and oh just I love the smell I could sit there and smell it all the time um, and I really like this color that it that it has um, I have the color bronzer that's the name of it and I know that they have um I think they have a lighter color also but I have kind of a medium skin tone so the darker color seems to look better on me um, I had to put on a couple layers so as you can see it is kind of light. Um, for blush I'm using the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Natural Beauty. This is really pretty pink color. Uh, it's kind of got a little bit of a shimmer to it also and I liked that. It really was pretty on my on my cheeks. Um, it's that's quickly becoming a, a favorite of mine. I haven't used it too much, but I'm really thinking I, I like that. So it, yeah, uh, I start using the Hourglass um, um, oh, the Ambient Light Highlighting Powder, and this adds to some of that shimmer from the, bl the blush. I didn't realize how much shimmer that blush actually gave me, but it looked beautiful. And so I just used the, the Hourglass um, highlighter to just add a little bit more shimmer up there on the top of my um, uh, cheekbone, up back by my eye up there. And I love it. I love that it's the, hour, the Ambient Light Hourglass highlighter is such a subtle, pretty powder. Um, it's great for anything. You can put that on and, and go run to the grocery store. It's not gonna be like a, oh my gosh, she's wearing highlighter kind of look. Um, there's a time and place for those, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just love this hourglass one. It's nice, it's soft, it's subtle, it's very pretty. So I'm finishing up now. I'm wearing um, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Patina. That is my favorite shade of these um, liquid lipsticks that Stila has. They have many, many, many different colors. I love the formula. Stila has probably one of the best liquid li lipstick formulas that I've ever had. They go on, they stay on, but they're not over drying. Most matte liquid lipsticks dry so badly. I just can't stand it, but here we go. Here's our finished look. So I hope you like this and I've got to get my butt moving so we can go head out for back to school shopping. And just wanted to say if you like this, click subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye.